in this here make me tough to you snack cake to me yeah more house more house this been overdue forever forever ask me when it was dropping said never never should have made you cut the feather but i designed it freemason margella what's goody shell trying to hear the most folk no joking i'm <laughs> I gotta give him the brand new video and won't bluff. I'm about to go off on this man. I'm about to go 100% off right now, bro. But before I get into that, man, before I get into what you guys have probably already seen, if you haven't seen it, I'm about to blow your mind because I'm about to throw so many facts at this man. He gonna think he's out of Kinko's. I'm telling you right now, he better go to the nearest FedEx. He better go to the nearest Staples, Office Max. If those are still in business, is it Office Max or Office Depot that got put out of business? That doesn't matter because I'm about to put Kelvin Benjamin out of business if he hasn't already gone out of business right now his value in the league has already plummeted but most of you guys know that the Panthers had their fan fest last night and I didn't do a video on that because it wasn't really a camp thing and it wasn't really like a 100% practice there's news that came out of that and whatnot but I didn't think you guys would want to see that so I didn't record a video for it but if this video gets let's just say 100 likes before tomorrow morning I'll make a video on fan fest for tomorrow so if you want that that's what that's about. But if not, it's all good because you guys know I'll still come through with quality Panthers content even if you don't get that video, man. So either way, let's get right into it. Let's go down to PIP right now because I need to talk about this. No more preamble. Nick Carboni. He he found a little he found a little blurb. He found a little sum sum. He said former hashtag Panthers wide receiver Kelvin Benjamin not holding back on organization cam when talking to the athletic. Now, 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 it's a little blurb. You probably can't read it right now, so I'll make it a little bit bigger for you to see. He said, I mean, I felt like I would have been even more successful if dot, dot, dot. I don't know, man, dot, dot, dot. If I would have dot, dot, dot. Looking back on it, I should have just been drafted by somebody else. When someone just has to pause and do all this, well, I mean, hey, but I'm talking about, like, see what had happened really, though, was. You can already tell that I hit you with something that's maybe the truth. But not all of it. He goes on to say, I should have never went to Carolina. Truly, I just think Carolina was bad for me. It was a bad fit from the get-go. If you would have put me with any other quarterback, let's be real. You know what I'm saying. Any other accurate quarterback like Rodgers or Eli Manning or Big Ben. Anybody. Quarterbacks with the knowledge that know how to place a ball and give you a better chance to catch the ball. It just felt like I wasn't in that position. Now, Kelvin Benjamin, bring your... Com uh, now, Kelvin... I hope everyone watching this video can hit the share button and can, and so that Kelvin Benjamin or Sona in Kelvin Benjamin's camp, uh, Kelvin, I hope one of your homeboys finds this video and lets you see it because you need to hear this. Your boys won't tell you this. They want to be yes men and they want to stay in your good graces. I don't know why, but I'm going to let you know the truth. I'm going to let you know a little bit of the truth, Kelvin. Now, you say you weren't put in a good position, right? You say you weren't put in a good position to have, to have success as a wide receiver because Cam wasn't good, right? Let's look at your stats. 2014, you get into the league, you were you were pretty good. I mean, is is getting 73 receptions for a 1,008 yards and nine touchdowns not is that bad for a rookie? Is that bad for a rookie with an inaccurate quarterback? I don't know. You tell me, Kelvin. Getting a thousand yards your first season in the league, 73 receptions. You tell me, bro. I I, I don't know. Your second year in the league, you you showed up. You, you, you got injured early on, so I understand you didn't play. Then 2016, your stats were, you had, you had what? 63 receptions, 941 yards, and 7 touchdowns. That's not bad. Was that a bad position for you then, too? Were you, were you not put in a good position there to have 900 yards in your second active season in the league? Maybe, maybe not. 2017, you showed up looking like, like this, Kelvin Benjamin. 2017, you showed up looking like this, Kelvin Benjamin. So you tell me, what, did, did you put yourself in a position to be successful as a, as a receiver? Or was that Cam's fault? Is, is this is this Cam's fault? You came and look like the Michelin Man, bro. You ate Kelvin Benjamin, bro. I'm telling you right now, why is Six afraid of Selvin? Because Kelvin Benjamin ate every single number up to 12, and that's why he's 13, bro. Kelvin Benjamin, I don't ever want to see you talk about Cam Newton. You like you ate the whole Fig Newton distribution factory, bro. You should be working for Nabisco. The Bills don't need you, bro. Nabisco needs you to move product because they you must like you like them, them Fig Newtons, bro. You like something. Some was tasting good the summer of 2017 when you showed up to OTAs. OTAs aren't even mandatory. So you could have spent another week or two, you know, working out on a treadmill, doing something, bro. Bro, you're spending so much time in the press trying to press cam when you can't even beat press coverage. But then you mentioned, you said, what? If you would have gone to a, an accurate quarterback, you said Rodgers. 
Okay, maybe it would have been better with Rodgers. But then you said Eli Manning. Then you said Eli Manning. Can we look at Eli Manning's statistics, please? Statistics, please. Eli Manning in 2014, your rookie year, was, what is this? He had 30, 30 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. That's not bad, but his team went 6-10. and 10. Cam Newton in 2014, he didn't have that great of, of passing stats. Look, what is this? 18 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. The team went 7-8-1, and one, won the division, got to the playoffs, and beat, what was it, the Cardinals? Was it the Cardinals we beat? We won a playoff game that year. But yeah, you would have been better off. You would have been better off with Eli Manning. You would have been the. You would have been what made them go, go to the playoffs that year in 2014. You're right. 2015, Eli Manning. He has 35 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. That's pretty good. Uh, six and ten again. Did not make the playoffs. 2015. This was the year without you. Oh, this was the year without you. What happened to Cam? Cam had Cam went 35 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. We're gonna ignore his rushing stats for right now, Kelvin. Don't worry about that. We'll get to that in a second. Team goes 15 and one without you. Cam's the MVP without you, and we get to the Super Bowl. Everyone in the audience, say the two magic words for Kelvin Benjamin right now, because he needs to hear it. 2016, Eli Manning, 26 touchdowns, 16 interceptions. The team goes 11 and five. Makes the playoffs, but what does the leader of the wide receiver core do? He takes everyone to South Florida a week before going to Green Bay for a playoff game. And y'all get the break speed off view in that playoff game. And OBJ has a terrible game. But I guess you would have had a much better game than OBJ. And I guess you would have had a much better season going 11-5 and five and losing a playoff game. Well, you know, Cam Newton didn't do much better. We went, I think we went, what was this? We went 7-9 and nine that year. I believe it was. I forgot what it what exactly it was. But we didn't do that great. Cam went 19 and 14. I'll hand you that one year. But you lost. I mean, what, 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 what more would you have done with Eli Manning that year? And now we're at 2017, where the Giants go 3 and 12. Now they go, what was it? Were they 3 and 13? And Eli Manning got benched. But he had, what was it? He had 19 touchdowns. 13 interceptions. I guess you would have done a lot better with Eli Manning this year. This this past year, I guess, if you got drafted to the, to the Giants. Uh, but Cam, all he did was go 22-16. and 16. We went 11-5, and five, made the playoffs. But you know what, Kelvin? I actually agree with you here because I don't think he should have been drafted by the Carolina Panthers either. The 2014 draft, how did that draft go? What, you were like number, didn't we have like the 24th or 28th pick that draft? How did the 2014 NFL Draft go? You were the 28th pick at wide receiver. Okay, well, let's look at how many other receivers were better than you that year. We'll even look at like positions that we actually needed that were better than you because we can go on for days about that. But let's go ahead and see who we could have had. Marquise Lee, he's had a, he's been a little bit better than you, I think. He has more value now. Jordan Matthews, he's better than you right now. Paul Richardson, questionable. But, you know, we can get into that if we really want to. Devontae Adams? Are you better than Devontae Adams, Kelvin Benjamin? Right now? No, nah, I don't know. You tell me. Let's see. Cody Latimer. That's a kind of a push. Allen Robinson. Tell me you're better than Allen Robinson right now, Kelvin Benjamin. Tell me we should have got you instead of Allen Robinson, Kelvin Benjamin. Jarvis Landry. Did you see Jarvis Landry's last contract? Did you see what this man just got paid to leave the Dolphins? Could you have earned that contract, Kelvin Benjamin? Could... Could this guy right here have earned that contract? Oh my, you better not ever talk about Cam Newton ever again, bro. Cam Newton gave you the opportunity. You, look, Kelvin, you can't run routes. You're injury prone. You're lazy. You're not fast. But you want to come at Cam Newton after he gave you two straight 900 plus yard seasons? I guess that's on you, bro. 2015 stats without you. Without you. The Carolina Panthers were number one in the NFL and total points without you. But look, we'll go into and look at reception touchdowns. Receiving touchdowns here. Wait, third? Tie for third? With 35 receiving touchdowns? Which is really second place because number one is a two-way tie uh, with 36. So explain to me how Cam was bad, how we were bad, and how, how, it's, how it's Cam's fault we couldn't get the, the numbers we deserve with you. But then again, let's go to the rush touchdowns, and we were, oh, 
we were tied for first in rushing touchdowns. So you're saying the whole offense for the Carolina Panthers did better without you, Calvin Benjamin? But it's Cam's fault that you couldn't have a good career with us. You weren't in the right position, huh? You weren't in the right position, huh? We went we went seven eight and one, right? And then and then we had a six and ten season. But the but the one that we had without you was a fifteen and one. And then we got rid of you this year. And then we went eleven and five without you though. But you you tell me where do you fit in on this? Where where, where at what point is this your fault, Kelvin Benjamin? At what point is this your fault, Kelvin Benjamin? Because it looks to me like we did our best. Without you, you getting a thousand, you getting nine hundred yards, helped you out. Did it help the team out? Did you actually help the team out, Calvin? I, you let me know, man. Everyone out here, man, am, am I going too hard on Calvin? On Calvin? I, I said Calvin. I don't really care. Let me know, man. I know it's not just raw numbers. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that Cam Newton is the most accurate quarterback in the league, but he's not. He's not the worst. He's not the worst. Cam Newton, at worst, is a top 10 quarterback. So you tell me, Kelvin Benjamin, what percentage of, 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 of this was your fault? Did you work as hard as you could have? Were you the best Kelvin Benjamin every single year you were on the field? The best possible Kelvin Benjamin? You let me know. People in the comments, let me know every question I've asked. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments below, man. You already know to do that like button. Cheers to you. Appreciate the chance. Being told y'all I've been the man. Being told y'all I had the gift. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Real ones gonna recommend. Count this as another win.